The first thing we have to do just as a group is just remember the norms, um, not take anything personally. I know it's hard to do, not get mad at me for telling you guys to stop and move on and all that stuff. Um, but our first step is just to look at the prompt for three minutes and the score sheet, but we're not necessarily scoring yet. We're just reviewing everything, making sure we understand it so we can ask clarifying questions afterwards. Um, our next step, any clarifying questions, not about the, um, basically just about the work that we looked at. Is there anything that we need to understand before we start scoring this together? And we have um, two minutes to do this. That we are using this rubric mm -hmm. to score. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we get copies of the other one that I think is going to use. Yeah. Okay. But these are my Any other clarifying questions? And we're scoring the um, the essay that's titled the 26th necessary. Yes. Okay. okay. I just lost it. Yes. <laughs> you, you could certainly score any one of the three, but <laughs> I think it's the one that'll develop the most interesting results. Any other clarifying questions? So we can um, we can move ahead. We have 10 minutes to read and score this student work. Um, if you want to make notes on the rubric um, to justify your score, so if we discuss afterwards, you can remember um, why you gave it what you did. Go around in a circle, just list whatever number we gave. Okay. So, so we have two minutes for this section. Okay. So uh, the first statement of purpose, Ken, what's your score? Uh, one. Jeannie? Two. Jules? Two. Katie? One. Crystal? Two. Nicole? Two. Nancy? Two. And I gave it a two. Elaboration of evidence. Ken? One. Jeannie? Jules? Two. Katie? Two. Crystal? Two. Nicole? One. Nancy? Two. And I gave it a one. Conventions? Ken? Oh, I gave you the wrong one. What okay. would be on language? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm a two. All right. So do the super quick for the last one. Uh, <coughs> two. Okay. Jeannie? Three. Jules? Three. Katie? One. Crystal? Two. Nicole? Two. Nancy? Two. And I said two. Oh, wait, I gave it a one, just kidding. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. Okay, we're done that part, the recording. All right, so um, now at this point, we have to look at where the greatest disparity was amongst these scores and discuss where they were and why we gave them what we did. Um, as you heard, as I did, you probably noticed that there's not a lot of disparity in some of these scores. So for I don't, if there's not a lot, we can sort of determine, okay, what were the most difficult for us to create, you know, wherever you are with that. We had um, eight minutes to do this. Looking at the record sheet, um, the scores that had the greatest range were in the last category, the conventions category. We had two people saying one, and we had two people saying three and everybody else said two. So I don't know if the ones want to speak to why they said a one or if the threes want to speak to why they said a three. I put one because of the third bullet down. And one, which is well mm -hmm. standard format for citation with significant errors. Um, he does quote things, but there's no citation. So. And then there's whatever this is at the end. I think that's supposed to be the work cited page. Right. So again, significant errors. In <coughs> Same exact thing for me. I think that there was, you know, some slight grammatical errors, but just the lack of that parenthetical citation was what caused me to give it a one. Mm -hmm. Anyone who didn't give it that? I'm sorry, can, can you just repeat which section are we on, please? Conventions, the last one. Okay. So it encompasses. Right. So I think I might be willing to switch to a one. Um, 
Just because I'm reading the language now has frequent severe sentence formation errors and lack of sentence variety, I would totally agree with that. So, I think I'm going to change my score on that. I actually agree too. I was focusing more on the grammatical stuff and less on the citations, but with that piece of the citations, that makes sense. So you would go to a, because you had a three, so you're going to go from a three to a one. Okay. Um, the reason why I said a two and not a one, because one of the bullets on the one says, um, Maybe I was reading that. I didn't think the errors were severe. And I felt the citation issue was addressed with the elaboration of evidence in terms of it did have in-text citations, so I kind of hit it there. It begs the question, like, how, how many times do we penalize a kid on the same scale? So you're talking... Yeah, I went back and forth around those two. I just kept going back and forth from the two to the one and the elaboration of evidence because it's like minimal or irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And then the overarching language and elaboration of evidence in two is like uneven cursory support, partial uneven use of. So I saw that there was, it was like attempting to use um, <coughs> like source material. Mm -hmm. But then he was definitely not citing it. Right. So you said you thought that the convention of citing properly is in elaboration of evidence? Well, if you look or just the use of evidence. If you look at um, the elaboration of evidence, um, part of it is that you use credible sources and then um, you cite your evidence. Mm -hmm. So if we're asking a child to cite evidence, I don't disagree that they, the child should be citing the evidence. But if we're already, you know, looking at it in terms of it's part of the evidence. I guess I was looking at that citing evidence in the elaboration as referring to the evidence that you put in your paper yeah. to support your argument, whereas I was looking at citation in grammar and usage as the actual MLA citation. I okay. agree with that completely. That's how I was just going to say the same thing. Okay. I think it's it's not the same skill so much as I definitely them. grappled with the exact same thing though. Like yeah. it took me like ten minutes going back and forth and be like. Mm -hmm. So it seems like we also need more more clarity when working with the rubric as to mm -hmm. when we talk about citing evidence. Are we talking about yeah. just citing evidence or using the correct format to cite the evidence? Mm -hmm. There's a lot here mm -hmm. in one box. So maybe it, yeah. it's, I mean, in, it's mm -hmm. intense. Yeah. So it seems like the language in the those categories in the rubric should be more clearly right. defined mm -hmm. for what exactly it refers to. Is there another category that we were? Just for the record, I would move from a three to a two. Okay. Um, and just looking at this, the the only thing the the student really showed any strength in was the language and vocabulary <laughs> area of the rubric, mm -hmm. and um, it's pretty obvious that this this piece of writing was was flawed. On the base, you know, on the basis that the evidence wasn't there to support what the student was trying to say. Mm -hmm. It's directly reflecting this planning sheet, though. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. His best argument was that very last piece. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, when you do this, you do kind of talk about each category. We're all on the same page with many of these categories, so it doesn't really make sense to mm -hmm. drag it out and talk about that. Um, when we all kind of had the same justification. So let's move into the debrief. We have two minutes per question, eight minutes, but you know we have time left so we can make this last as long as we need it to. 